An 11,000-year-old carving from a Neolithic bench in southeastern Turkey may be the world's oldest narrative scene. It depicts menacing leopards, amongst other animals, flanking two men, one of whom is holding his genitalia as he is being attacked. The other man is shown squatting and shaking a rattle or snake or weapon at a ferocious bull. The leopard's teeth and the bull's horns have been accentuated to highlight the danger of the situation. With both engaged in some form of self-defense or combat, it forms the oldest narrative scene on record. What makes this relief unique is that it spans two panels horizontally adjacent to each other, creating a progressing scene. First ever narrative, a bull, a leopard, and a lot of phallus. The carvings were on built-in stone benches within a Neolithic building and measure 0.7 to 0.9 meters, 2.5 to 3 feet tall and 3.7 meters, 12 feet long. The man fighting the bull is depicted with a phallus-shaped extension on the abdomen, and his raised, open left hand has six fingers, while the right holds a snake or rattle, wrote Dr. Ilam Azdogan, study author and archaeologist from Istanbul University. The study has been published in the latest issue of Antiquity. The second scene involves two leopards. Their mouths are open, teeth visible, with long tails curled up towards the body. From each side, they face a man who is carved in three dimensions, the only figure in high relief. He is also the only figure facing into the room. He is holding his phallus with his right hand and his stomach with his left, perhaps attempting to protect those delicate parts. Saberk a communal building and a site where hunter-gatherers start settling. Under excavation since 2021, Saberg is a Neolithic mound site 56 kilometers, 35 miles, east of the Euphrates River and 32 kilometers, 20 miles, north of the Syrian border. The settlement is from the 9th millennium before Christ, when the transition from hunting-gathering to long-term settled farming was occurring in human history. The bench and the scenes have been found in a large communal structure, which likely served as a space for celebrations and other gatherings. The benches were arranged in such a manner that they faced a singular center, while the images were carved onto them. The building is yet to be fully excavated, so more is to be learned from this space soon. Who these figures represent still remains a mystery, though Dr. Ozdogan posits that these were likely mythical figures or a person from a historical tale, and thereby important individuals in a larger sense. It is also likely that they were revered by the newly formed settled agricultural communities of the region and could have played a role in the harvest perhaps. With all these figures depicted, it is clear that there is an attempt to show the complex relationship between humans, the natural world, and the animal life surrounding them. This is as the transition to a sedentary lifestyle was being made, with the ensuing conflicts that emerge out of this radical shift. It is also worth mentioning that there is a performative masculinity being depicted in all these images, with the focus being wild animals, men, and their phalluses.